app is called Image Optim, and what it's going to do is it's going to reduce the size of your image files, your pictures, while still keeping the quality and the actual physical dimensions of it. You know, a lot of times if we go in and we try to edit the size of images ourselves, you know, maybe we go in something, you know, if you're on a Mac, like preview and just to adjust file sizes and make it smaller and smaller. But as you start to do that, the quality of the picture gets reduced, it gets grainy, it gets pixelated, uh, it just doesn't look as good as when you originally took it. What Image Optim does is it keeps the physical dimensions of the image, it keeps the quality of the image, but what it's going to do is it's going to remove all of the metadata in the background. And um, that might that make sense to some people that are watching this, but uh, I'm going to give an example and try to explain it a little bit. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So it's nice because it, once you download it, it's an easy drag and drop app. You just literally click on images, drag them into the, the window, it does all of its magic, right? So to get the app, you're going to go to imageoptim.com. That's where I'm at right now. I have a, I'm working on a Mac, so it's going to download the Mac version. There's a web service, I've never tried that. Um, but once you download it, it's this window right here. Now these other two are for examples for us. This is gonna just be keeping notes to kind of see before and afters how much this works. Um, just so you could kind of see the impact it can have on your images. Now why would you wanna, why do you need to shrink your image files? Well, it might be you're on a limited cloud storage where you, each picture you only have a certain amount of space that you could store stuff it might be that on your computer you don't want to be taxing too much or taking up too much space with pictures I know on my work computer I have um, a screensaver of pictures of my wife and kids and I always run it through here so that's not eating up too much of my computer you know we've all been on those sites where you need to upload stuff but there's a, a size limit for each file maybe some of your pictures now that's you know especially with smartphone cameras getting bigger and stronger and stronger, you know, image, size, image sizes get bigger and bigger. And then also it might be that you don't need all this stuff for, for any reason, right? Like, you know, it's cool for me to look on my phone and see where a picture's taken if I, you know, if it was on a vacation or something like that. But for the most part, I don't need all that info so I can remove all of it. So let's look at it. First thing I did was I downloaded a couple images from my uh, Google Photos app, right? So if I click on it and go to info, here's where I'm gonna take some notes, you're gonna see before folder, it is 68.5 megabytes, right? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at one image. So we're gonna look at this picture right here. This is from, you know, if you're from Illinois and you don't know what Jane hot dogs are, you haven't lived a full life. So definitely check it out. If you're ever visiting Chicago, it's, I'm gonna go on, on a limb and say it's the best hot dog in the world. So you're welcome. If you, if I look at the size of the image right now, if it kept everything, so we'll do before image dimensions, it is 55.56 inches by 41.67 inches. All right, so we're just gonna put this down so that we can see if it is in fact the same size, right? And then as far as the image size, we're gonna look at this metadata. And this is where you can see all the kind of behind the scenes stuff, right? So it's 1.9 megabytes. So before image size, 1.9 megabytes. But here you could see how much other info it pulls that's taking up memory, storage, data, dimensions, what type of phone took the picture, the color spacing, the focal length, the metering mode, the f-stop, and probably the biggest one is like, where was this picture taken? Longitude and latitude, right? Like, I don't need that. I'm, it's cool like on my phone, that if I'm scrolling through, you know, vacation pics or a picture with like nothing in the background or in the image that really reminds me of where I'm at, I could always see it. Oh, it was taken here, it was taken there. But for the purposes of a lot of stuff for work, whether I'm making a, a Google Slides or a PowerPoint presentation or a doc or updating our, our department's website, I don't need all this info and I wanna save some space, okay? So we have all this before stuff. Right? 
Let's see if I can keep this, this window open. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna see all the magic. Click on all the images. And literally, oops, sorry about that. So click, click. I'm just gonna drag and drop them in here. And watch the magic happen. So you can see down here and you can see up here just how much it, three photos it's still working on but how much it reduced everything, right? You can see on average 35.5%. So this whole folder should be about 35.5% smaller, right? So as I'm looking, originally the folder was 68.5 megabytes. After folder is now 44.4 megabytes. Okay, those of you that are or used to be math teachers, I'll let you do the math on that, but I'm gonna guess that's pretty close or not, if not exactly 35.5%. And then you could see some of them, it took out a lot, 66.3%, these portrait ones, right? That really has a lot of processing going on in the background. So it really knocked those down. Some of them, not so much, 99.1%, still something. Right, and if we're looking at this going from 68.5 megabytes to 44.4 megabytes, you know, you might not think that's a lot of storage, and it's not a ton, but let's take that to a bigger scale, right? 35.5 percent. If you have, you know, I'm gonna try to do simple math here. If you have, you know, a hundred gigabytes of photos and you can knock it down by 35.5%, like that's a big chunk. That's a huge amount of, of data, of space you just created for more pictures. So now if we look at our original sample image, still looks the same, right? If we go to the size, what do we got after image? Dimensions. Oops, I spelled that after wrong, my apologies. We got the same, 55.56 by 41.67. But now, as you can see, you can see two things. Number one, this shrank to, after image, size, 1.7 megabytes. And you could see all this data is gone now. Right? All it has is the dimensions and the spacing and the profile. Everything else is removed. The, the phone I took it with, the location, all that, but the image is still the same size as far as the dimensions and the quality. So yeah, hopefully you could find a use for this. Um, like I said, some people like keeping all that stuff on their phone and for personal use, but you know, if I, am, if I have images that I'm gonna use for work, I don't need all that background stuff. And this just saved more space for me to add more images if I need to. So hopefully you can find a use case for this. Um, yeah, enjoy.